Welcome back to Meds Made Easy. My name is Sharoon Verma. Today we're going to talk about Abilify, also known as Aripapazel. Aripapazel. Abilify. I'm going to just say Abilify. All right, so it is a quinoline antipsychotic. Um, how do I begin to explain that? I can't. How does it work? Uh, also very, very, very complicated. Um, it works on several different types of dopamine receptors and several different types of serotonin receptors. Uh, and that's essentially how it gets your neurotransmitters leveled out in your brain. That's really the simplest way that I'm even going to throw that at you. Anything beyond that, just it just becomes so complicated. In fact, if you want an easy way to go to sleep at night, read how Abilify really works and it'll put you to sleep. Uh, take it with or without food, doesn't really matter. Um, dosing uh, structures, I'm not going to go over just because it depends on your di diagnosis. It could be anything. You could use this for bipolar, depression, uh, schizophrenia, Tourette's. It's used for a lot of different uh, issues. And so your dosing kind of all varies depending on what you're using it for. Uh, it takes about one to three weeks to hit full effect. So if after a week, week and a half, you're like, I'm taking this and it's not working, no, you need to stick with it. Three weeks is when you'll start to really feel a good effect of it. If after a month you're not, so four weeks you're like, I don't feel any different than I did the first day that I took it, that's when you need to call your doctor and you talk about maybe getting switched off of the medication. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see, it's got a black box warning for suicidality. Uh, all antidepressants uh, tend to in this situation. Um, we don't know why it happens, but it just does. Um, it can lead to increased thoughts of suicide and things like that. So if you or your loved one start displaying those um, symptoms, you need to make sure you call your doctor and get pretty much stop the medication um, at that point. It's also got a black box warning for increased mortality in elderly patients with dementia related psychosis. I'll just let that sit in because that's very, very complicated and long. Um, I guess bottom line is that if you're elderly over 65, to make sure that you are under a good doctor's care because you want to watch out for these things, especially if you have a history of psychosis, a dementia-related psychosis, which is a very small, small, small fraction of the population out there. But other than that, for the most part, you don't need to worry about this second black box warning at all. Uh, let's see here, pregnancy class C, which means you have to outweigh the benefits versus the risks. There have been studies that have shown that it, uh, it causes issues in fetuses, um, but at the same time, the official FDA indication is that it needs to be kind of weighed out by the doctor. So make sure you and your doctor have that conversation about this medication if you're pregnant. It does cross over into breast milk, however little amounts are fine. There's this thing called RID, relative infant dose, meaning that uh, your doctor should be monitoring your breast milk levels and make sure that there's not too much going into the baby because at that point it is going to cause harm. But little, little trace amounts are deemed to be acceptably fine. So there's that. Um, I'll put up a list of side effects here. Uh, with this kinds of medications, uh, the side effects are just, they can be all over the place. They can be up, they can be down. Uh, it can lead to a lot of different issues because it's working on your brain. Uh, beyond that, it's a medication that a lot of people tend to take. It's um, it's very popular. It used to be more on the expensive side. It's definitely coming down in cost. So when things go down in cost, you're starting to see an increase in people taking it because it's cheaper to take. Um, if you ever choose to stop the medication, you cannot stop this cold turkey. It's working on your brain. It has to be tapered off, meaning you gotta take, you gotta gradually decrease your dose over time, and then you can completely get off the medication if and when your doctor deems it appropriate for you to get off the medication. Uh, I think that's about it, guys. Um, that's it. Give us some comments down below. Give us a subscribe. Tell us how we're doing, and uh, we'll see you next time on Meds Made Easy. Bye.